Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona Space Persona 5. Today, well, I cleared out the guy that was here because he was in my way. Um, there doesn't seem to be any other enemies around, which is kind of shocking. Hey dog, what up? Chuckle, gazing upon the scenery makes me truly fear that I am one of the chosen ones. Alright. You say so. Can I have that? I mean, sh staring at the scenery makes me feel like I'm in actual hell and we're on the ferry to be tortured for the rest of the eternity so you know but they each their own sure hey girl that man had so many tattoos and his manual rooms were quite preposterous as well but i suppose if he's on the ship mr shido must accept him oh oh wait are we going up against a tv producer i was gonna think with tattoos probably yakuza maybe Oh dear, I've got far too excited in the entertainment hall. I should cool down here for a while. I mean, yo, know, straight up. I would love this ship. Like, to sail around the world with this ship. No, you get back here, you son of a... There's a treasure. It led me to a treasure. Look, I already have you, but I am going... To kill you. Let's go ahead. No, I need the stronger one. Where is the stronger one? That's the stronger one. That's good. Ah, that, that's good right there. We could miracle punch it. Oh, and we do. Look. Just die. We already have you. How much money and experience are you going to give me, though? Mmm, that's a lot of money and an all right experience. Okay. Surprised we didn't get bonus money for that. That was the first turn, wasn't it? The first round? Classified armor. Oh, Becky, we have some armor you can wash for us. Just, you know, I guess is nice, right? I guess we gotta go up, right? Yeah. No, wait, no, 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 no. We wanna go through that door. Yeah. Did we, did we talk to you? The entertainment hall is just near here. We have various games there, including slot machines. I suggest you head there if you're on board. All right. Sure. You, stop right there. Or yo, stop right there. I'm talking to you guys. Come over here for a second. Huh? Wait, does he mean us? Huh? Who else could he possibly mean? He looks super dangerous. I don't want to get involved, even if he's just some old uh, cognitive thing. What are you punks mumbling about? Uh, uh, mumbling on about? I hear you've been making quite a mess in here. Heep! We're totally not making a mess, we swear. Who are you anyways? Huh, I'm the one asking questions around here. Now drink some salt water and reflect on what you did. I'm leaving this to you guys. I don't got, I don't got time to waste on little punks like this. Come on, man. Salt water? What does that mean? Whoa, hold on. Look out, here they come! Nice! Just straight up, like, slash the guy. Oh, Satan! I missed you! I mean, I totally forget what you were weak to. Was it ice? It was probably ice. Yeah. No, it wasn't ice. It was not the ice. Oh, you have ice! That makes absolutely no sense. You have lightning too. Will you stop attacking him? Cause you're gonna kill him. And thank you, actually, that was awesome. Um, let's go ahead and use the, the wind. All right, let's try some heart. Nope, all right. Let's try some swift strikes. Oh, who are you critting? I mean, we still get an extra turn, so it doesn't really matter. Dope. I should probably heal Morgana. You're not wrong. We emerged victorious. That wasn't funny, damn it. They were totally trying to kill us. Ryuji, do you know what we've been doing the last hundred and some odd hours? Maybe because we caused a scene at both the restaurant and pool? Someone has to clean up the mess. Wait a sec, clean up the mess? Oh. 
Oh, that's why they called him the cleaner. It's because he mops up any trouble that shows its face. That should make him pretty easy to find, though. We just gotta disturb the peace somehow. But doing so would have an adverse effect on us finding the other letters of introduction. Let's leave him for last and hurry over to the next, the other two. I thought we only had two left. Okay, now that I'm done choking on the air that I'm trying to breathe, in that case, our next target should be the TV station president in the entertainment hall somewhere, or ahead. Let's go, Joker. Good lord. You ever, you ever done that? You know, talking, try to take a quick breath, and all of a sudden you're just gagging because you don't know how to freaking breathe? Ugh. What's that? Oh, no, that's just a treasure. No enemies up here. Interesting. I'm fine with there's no be no enemies being like past the door as soon as I come in. I kind of hate that when you open the door and there's just an enemy standing there. It hasn't happened too often, um, surprisingly. It has happened sometimes, but not all the time, which is nice. Uh, let's see, treasure looks like a lock chest too. Oh yeah, no, it is. Got 18 locks. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Gilgamesh, god damn it, I wasted $45,000 on that. Uh, well, I didn't know it was going to be here, so I can't really complain. It seems this must be the entertainment hall, just like we expected. Then the slot-loving TV station president should be here. Let us search the area for him. Okay. Do you think, like, it's going to be a woman in what looks like a nightgown? I've been to other casinos, but this is my first time in the entertainment hall. You know there are casino areas all over the ship, right? Oh no, I did not know that. And now I'm a little worried that we're gonna have to find other casino halls. Peacock fan. Uh, let me see your peacock cock cock, your peacock cock. Yeah. I mean, as we all know, Katy Perry is my idol. You talk to me. <laughs> Today was truly a wonderful experience. Though I lost yesterday, I'm, so my winning average is still only 50% so far. Oh, oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't go to casinos all that often when I do. I usually only bring like $100, and then I leave when I uh, lose it all. <laughs> I actually, to be honest, I actually win, like, a lot of the times that I'm there. But here's the thing. I don't go alone. I go with some friends, and one of them never wins. And she gets really, really, she might have a problem. We don't go that often, but she gets really into it. And then she keeps playing and then I get bored. So I just go to a slot machine and start max betting until, uh, until I'm out. And then I go to the bar. Is that another safe room? Hello? Hello? Gambling is the ideal pastime for the rich. Only fools think about actually trying to win here. Spending money and wasting time is the same in, in the same instant, instant. Isn't that the ultimate form of luxury? Although I will say I do like the win every now and then again. <laughs> sure. Um, I like not wasting money. I'm very, I'm not cheap. I'm frugal, I like to think. Sure. You know, I uh, actually wasn't expecting to see another safe room for a little bit. Uh, I was like, okay, we're probably gonna have to get through the next area and then another mouse area and then it's gonna give us a safe room. I'm certain the gentleman I saw at the slots downstairs is a television exec. Already loves gambling. He must be moving around to various casinos in here. There's no enemies in here, which is kind of surprising. What was that? Huh. That's weird. Oh, it must have been that blue thing on its head. It totally looked like... Well, it totally looked like something out of the ordinary. Look at all these slot machines. Maybe we'll find that TV station press we heard about in here. In that case, why don't we try searching for him? Yeah? This place isn't too big, so spotting him should be easy. Be careful if you find him, though. Isn't the man sitting over there one of them? Maybe. He looks old. He's the president of a TV station, isn't he? He gives letters of introduction to executives of companies who are willing to sponsor his programs. That's a difficult condition to meet. Want to just beat it out of him? Yes. Let me handle this. So, I don't mind trying to do the diplomatic approach, but here's the thing. It hasn't worked yet at all. Like the first time, it was just like, okay, you're not get like we're just going to kill you now. 
And then the second time was like, okay, this pervert's trying to actually molest on, so let's kill him. And I'm assuming Haru's gonna go over there and be like, hi, I'm like a president of Akumara Foods and I would like to sponsor your shit. And then he's gonna say something like, oh, absolutely. By the way, here's some shady crap, so why don't you go ahead and kill me? For real? But... I'll allow it. You've got this, Noir. This is not your say. <laughs> Yes, senpai. Don't call him that. A letter of introduction. But you're so obviously a child. I'm Haru Okumura, daughter of the president of Okumura Foods. I believe we sponsored you as well. Oh, you're her. It's true that I'm quite indebted to President Okumura. He funded us extremely well, after all. I do like the masks. However, it looks like he got a little carried away. My condolences. Sure, yeah, that sounded so heartfelt. <laughs> Regarding his exploiting management, Mr. Shido asked me to defend him as much as I could. I even threw some extra security his way, but there were limits to what I could do. The damage almost reached up to Mr. Shido himself. President Okumura had to be cut I don't know off. if Haru's ready for this. Cut off. It seems he didn't just cast him off his ship, but also used him to trap the Phantom Thieves. Bravo, Mr. Shido. Truly a nasty maneuver. <sighs> Won't you please give me a letter of recommendation? Yeah, I was actually expecting her to just take out her axe and bury it into the guy's face. Once our company recovers, I will arrange for us to cooperate with you in a sponsorship role. You're the daughter of the late president. Do you really have She owns she's a majority shareholder. Of course she does. Your employees probably resent you. No. <laughs> well, that's not important. I'm in your father's debt after all. I can repay some kindness to his daughter. Thank you. Very much. But my... Your father truly was a fool. She's gonna snap. She, she has like a hot streak sometimes. He could have lived a life of luxury if only he'd done what he was told. You know... I'm the one who broadcast the moment of his mental shutdown. Shocking. Our rating shot up because of that. <laughs> okay. Battle time? Yep. All right. Huh? How could you talk about my father's death like that? She's pissed. Mm. That's just business. If you like, we can get you in a documentary. Overcoming death to rebuild a family company. You're so cute, you might just get good ratings. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that. You had better apologize to my father. Okay, let's go in there and attack. <laughs> yeah, how we're right here. Yeah, time to save her. Are you thieves? No, we're phantom thieves. Oh, hello. You look like a giant kitty. So I'm gonna shoot your friend with the gun. And then... Oh, you're not weak! You have played me, sir. Reverse rub. Right. Mona... Mona's in trouble! Oh my god, Mona! <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot! Oh, are you weak to electricity? Is that what you're telling me? Because it seems to me that you're weak to electricity. Yeah. No. You. And then we come here. And then I'm gonna, like, just... Hmm. No, I need a higher swift strike. I don't know if I... Ah, eh, you, I guess. 
That wasn't too bad. Raging Bird God. Um. I'm kind of worried. Yes. Oh, you, yeah, that's right, you son of a... God damn it. Heal. Oh, you fucking ass. At least that got rid of his heal. And then I guess just do this right off the bat. Hope for the best. And then Joker can come up. Yes, all right. Yeah, do this. Do I get an extra turn for that? No. Tempest Slash. You're a dick. Uh, heal. No problem. No problem at all. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's do that again. And then we'll come in here. Fucking end everyone! Do this. Just keep ending. All the ending. Yeah, you should say damn it. Ah, oh, fucking Morgana. He's not dead. He's fine. That's good. Good for you, Morgana. Just heal. And then we'll just shoot. By shoot, I mean triple shot or triple down. Okay, and then, the swiftest of strikes. Fuck! Why would you miss? Don't missing- there's no missing in Dark Souls! Miracle Punch, huh? Yeah, uh, here, have this. Feel free to kill him because he insulted your dad. I mean, your dad was a bad guy, but still. You know, he was- You're his daughter, you have the right to feel- like, real, like, unbridled anger about that. A lot of level ups. Ooh, is this the good one? Yeah, so we get rid of this. Oh, that's it? Alright, cool. <laughs> you shouldn't, you really shouldn't laugh like that. <laughs> okay, we have the lever introduction. I assume, as part of the media, you have knowledge about quite a few important topics. We will not take your life, as long as you share the knowledge that you've kept from the public. Remember that Kanoshiro guy? The one from the Mafia who ended up on the news a while back? Well, the money he was gathering all went to Shido-san. Shido and, Ka uh, Shido and Kanoshiro were connected? Indeed. As well as that old man, Madarame. His counterfeit business, along with Kanoshiro's Mafia, aided Shido-san quite a lot financially. I understand now. Hey, were you you were forcing the news about uh, forcing the news to be about a catchy and shooter all the time, right? I'm sick of him. Wait, this guy's not a real person. Tell him he, uh, telling him ain't gonna do shit for us. Yes. Come on, we have to take down Shido himself. So we got one more, and then the cleaner. I would never have imagined that their leader would commit suicide. Akechi kun did you anticipate this curious turn of events? Oh, certainly not to this extent. But it is important to note that he was the mastermind behind the recent commotion. Getting captured must have wounded his pride irreparably. Such things happen often to insurgent leaders. Ooh, insurgent leaders. That's a new title for us. According to the police, the whereabouts of the other members are still currently unknown. I like how her, her title is cute announcer. Considering they no longer acquire testimony from the leader, the investigation will be hard to... May I butt in for a second? Of course. 
The Phantom Thieves may have laid low since then, but they must not be excused. I don't care if they come after me. For the victims of their evil deeds and for their families. I will capture the remaining Phantom Thieves. No matter what. My apologies. I didn't mean to get so worked up. You're a lot better acting than on. Or at no acting than on. call you an ace detective of justice. What passion. How about we use this opportunity to poll the audience? Those who believe the detective of justice will annihilate the Phantom Thieves. Press your buttons now. I hope everyone votes no. I don't think they will, but... My, everyone in the audience agrees. How shocking. Looks like you can't back down now. I will do the best I can. Oh, but I do have to study for my college entrance exams. I might not be able to promise that. I wonder if you're actually trying to get None to the... these people know that I was an undesirable child. Okay. I wanted people to rely on me. I wanted to be needed. I devoted myself to my studies, acted as an honor student, and made my name as an ace detective. And thanks to the NAV app, and the persona bestowed upon me by the gods, I managed to dispose of any who got in my way. That's one way to look at it. Though it took me some time to finally do so. All that remains is to tell him. But still, wasn't their leader's suicide a letdown for you, given how long it took to apprehend him? I think if it were me, I would have collapsed from the shock. True. I mean, I am the one that shot him in the head. I mean, I, was, I wasn't there when he committed suicide. Just a little, though. Perhaps my mind was worked up due to the major task I had undertaken. <clears throat> hmm. I remember... Is that? If you don't turn off your phone, the Phantom Thieves might change your heart. Yeah, that's not even close to funny. Um, but I remember, like, one time he was sitting in the calf and I just went up and talked to him and he's like... Yes, let me regale you on how... It was like his, his, he was, like his mother gave him up or something like that. I forget, I remember just being like, why are you telling me this? Like, I said a hi, and then you started giving me all the dirt on your, like, your mother. A phone? A phone? See? Even a catchy coon's face has stiffened up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm not bothered. Just make sure to turn it off when you go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> When the uh, Infinity Wars comes out, actually, it might have already come out. Hmm. Excellent. On to the next target. Who else remains? We're leaving the cleaner for last, so we got that IT president guy left. Um. We don't have any clues about him yet, though. Either way, let's proceed onward. We still haven't f uh, gotten a full grasp of the ship's layout. See we haven't. Is there anything down here, like a treasure or an enemy I can kill? Yeah, what, yeah, like, what was he telling me about his mother? I think, like, he gave her up or something like that. Or, like, she was a, was she, was she a prostitute? And then died? I might be getting, getting that mixed up with someone. I don't remember what episode that was, so it's not like you can go back and check. But it was, like, fairly early on. Because, I like, we hadn't like, actually really talked to him at all or something like that. For the most part, we just randomly like ran into him when he was at LeBlanc's and he was just like, yeah, here's like a lot of personal information about me. I'm like, oh, damn, like, okay. Like, you didn't have to tell me that at all. Like, at, at all. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below if you're not subscribed yet. When you get to my videos, so you can check out some of the content and see if it's true liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.